Hello, hard hats. Welcome back to Construction Simulator VIP lounges for the stadium. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I needed to finish up these trenches and um, pretty quickly with the dozer. Uh, took care of it no problem whatsoever. Uh, someone did mention, though, I probably could take, like, the excavator and just put the bucket down and back drag, meaning, like, back up the excavator and the bucket will pick up most of the dirt. Um, yeah, I haven't tried that, but that, that could work, I suppose. Uh, but maybe next time. Anywho, uh, VIP lounges, 6% done. Uh, next step for today is unpack the construction material. And we will go ahead and do that. And actually, I probably should sleep through the night. It's almost nighttime here. Uh, but maybe we'll get our our concrete stuff over here. Uh, where is that stuff anyways? Is it here somewhere? No, is it over here? There's the crane. Uh, there's the pump. Let's go ahead and enter the pump. Let's see how I get along with the pump today. Uh, can we just drive on through? I mean, looks like we got room to get on through. What the heck did I just run over? It's called a rock. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a big rock there. Let's see if we can get on through. I don't think there's any invisible walls in Construction Simulator, meaning areas where they don't want you to go. Well, there might be, but <laughs> it'll be pretty obvious they'll have it blocked off for the most part. Uh, no, let's get over to the other side. This side is kind of poured a little bit. Let's keep on going around. Let's not park too close if I can help it. I think right there is going to be good. Get the legs out. I'm just kind of curious. Are, are the legs on the ground when I do that? They are here, but they weren't on the other side, which is kind of interesting. It must have been uh, elevated somehow. Let's go ahead and get into our cement truck. Can I avoid that rock? I mean, I can avoid it. Will I avoid it is the question. Alright, and let's get over there. We'll get this to set up and then we'll sleep for the night. That way we can start first thing by getting pouring some concrete. And fingers crossed, pouring it well. It would be nice if I actually uh, extended the boom right away, but apparently got too excited to see if the front legs were on the ground. All right, we'll get this set up now. Turn it around here. I'm going to fully extend it now. That way I can kind of see how far we're going to be able to reach. Still going. That looks like about as far as we're going to reach. All right, open up the hopper. And I didn't see how much we got in the uh, mixer here. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, let me get the camera around this way. That should do just fine. And then we'll just go ahead and wiggle the tail a little bit. I'll turn the pouring on now, actually. Now we'll go ahead and take a coffee break until morning. That's one heck of a long coffee break, but that's what we do. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's see how the pouring goes today. That filled up rather quickly. Foundation's not taking a whole bunch of concrete, really. I mean, that's filling up rapidly. Uh, nope, can't reach that corner.
Okay, bring it in a little bit. And now I'll just go from like corner to corner, maybe. Yeah, it's not quite getting to the middle of the uh, of the beams from corner to corner. All right, we ran out of mixture, so let's go ahead and grab some more. All right, so almost a quarter of the way through. Yeah, so I'm going to have to not just get the corners. Getting the corners alone is not going to do it. I'm going to have to get the middle parts as well. Bring it on in. Just gotta bring the other side of the boom in. Kinda sloppy work here, but you know me by now, this is gonna be always sloppy. How close can I get before the boom folds up on me? Kind of finicky work this is, but we will get there in the end. We always do. All right, need to get this middle piece here. Work on that middle piece there. I don't think I could reach farther out to that corner. That's why I didn't do it. A little bit tedious work, but not every job can be very simple. Although sometimes I think we would like the job to be simpler than what it is. As long as the uh, the end, the spout, maybe I guess I don't know what it would be called. As long as that doesn't keep folding up on me like it was a few episodes ago. I'm okay with it. For the most part. Oh, rod of concrete. I'm only 60% done? Okay. Fill her up. Yep, pouring back on, please. Getting our LeBear. LeBear pump man truck. Yeah, we'll finish up this row right here. I'm glad, at least in the game, that when you're not over an area that is asking for the concrete, that it doesn't consume it. Just having to turn this pump on and off, on and off, on and off to keep getting in certain areas, uh, <laughs> that would be something. All right, so 66% done. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, probably shouldn't have reset it, but I did. Because I might get stuck on the mixer. But we did not. Okay, we're going to sneak over here. And then if there's more rebar, that means there's going to be more pouring of concrete later on. Or right after this, one or the other.
Yeah, at least that is all the rebar and concrete forms that we have. We don't have any more in the pile, at least. All right, let's, uh, I mean, I should be able to reach this corner, no problem, I think. Uh, just barely we'll reach it all right uh, let's see open up the hopper yeah I'm pretty much fully extended not quite fully extended but close enough I still haven't been around the map with a pickup truck or anything to unlock other buildings but at this stage, it might just keep on going and we'll unlock them as we move along. Oop, that's good enough. Alright, let's wrap up the, uh, the foundation part at least. I'm not going to do it in any particular order here. I'm just going to go as uh, I'm looking at things, I suppose. Don't know if the crane is going to be in the way. I don't think so. I think I'm parked far enough in front of the crane to where it's not going to be a bother. I did that row there, yes. Okay, so we'll move back to the nearest row and work our way to the right. All right, and uh, work our way up to the middle as well. How are we doing? 88%. All right, we're, we're getting there. down to this corner here. Uh, let's get the middle. And are we out of concrete again? Yes, we are at 96%. So, <laughs> this should be the last time for at least this step. And I don't have to be too particular anymore. Well, maybe I do. <laughs> I thought I had plenty more to fill up, but apparently not. Hopefully this will do it. It does. All right, clear the marked area. We clear the marked area. All right, unpack material, which is more of the rebar. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I'm going over here. I was kind of hoping for the rebar so we can kind of finish up the pouring of the concrete, but uh, so be it. We'll do this. All right, let's put those in place. We'll leave... Uh, you know what? I'm going to turn that off because if I leave that running, we won't be doing the concrete for a while. And we'll have to hear that slopping around because it's right next to our crane here. Right, where it? I just realized where error. Oh, they're over there. Okay, gotcha. It does say six, but I only see three. So I'm guessing after I clear out these three, three more will spawn in.
So, VIP seating. I wonder if I'll get a VIP seat for the first game. Probably not. And wait for it to snap in. Uh, okay, I was waiting for three more to spawn it. Where's the other three? Uh, are those the other three? Uh, I'm a little bit nervous because I don't see... I don't see a hook to go on them. Actually, there's four... I don't... Wait, where's... <laughs> Am I missing them? Oh, okay, way over there. Never mind. I am missing him because I am a moron. <laughs> I thought the other three were to go like in that corner. Nope, they want me to go on the other side to do the other three. All right. Luckily, I found him pretty quickly. do have 2 million euros, so if I do need any machinery, it should not be a problem to purchase anything that we need. Although I think we got most of the basics. Unless it comes to asphalt and road uh, paving, don't really have much of that. All right, unpack construction material. Yes, the rebar. And the wood, or maybe just the wood. Okay, I, I uncrated it, but nothing disappeared there. But we do have pour the slab down. So, probably going to have to move to the other side after I get this one done. If I can get it all done without moving. Lopping it on in there. Although it's a pretty big area and I'm going to have to do it twice. I'm starting to think I may not be able to do this all in one go from where I'm parked for this side. When I go to the other side, I'll probably park like right where my boom is right now. That way it can reach everything. But we'll get done what we can. Maybe we'll get... No, we're not going to get lucky enough to get 100% done. That's a lot of area that we're not covering. Even though we're on medium, we're going to have to cover more than this that we can reach. Well, that is about 30% just by doing the arc. And we're out. Spending most of my money on concrete. Well, I shouldn't say most of my money. We, like I said, we got two million. And what was it like? Twenty-five thousand to fill that up. I don't know if it's just me or not, but after the last update, is the concrete pouring a little bit faster out of this pump? Pretty sure it's just me. I'm guessing we'll probably get to like low 80s without having to move the pump. 
So let's just say 82% is what I'm going to go with, is what I'm going to get done inside this radius of concrete that I have poured so far. Oop, there's a little spot there. Let's get that. I may need that to get to my 82%. And we're out of concrete again. Okay. Actually, it's 18 and change for a full tank of concrete mixture. Might actually get more than 82%, but we'll see. Oh, the camera's just twisting and turning everywhere. But still, I'm not going to get to that 100%. All right, let's uh, fold it on up and move it on over and we'll get this one taken care of. But when I do the other side, I'm going to park more on the side of, well, kind of like right where I am right about now. Pardon me, coming through. Yeah, we don't have to be too precise here. And I don't think there's enough in the pump by itself to get the last 12%. Maybe 2% I'll get done, but that's about it. We'll try it though, just to... Alright, yeah, so was it wasn't even that much. I think it was 1%. But we still got more rebar sitting over here. Driving on the future field, basically. A little bit more. I think that'll do it. Perfect. It's really not going to take us too long to get the last 10% here, is it? I, mean, I don't want to say just slop it around, but basically that's what I'm going to do. Unless I run out of concrete, <laughs> then, then I'm not going to get it done. Yep, and we're done. Right. 
one more slab to do for the stage. Hopefully I didn't park too far away, but I think we got it where we need it to be. Yeah, we should have no problem getting this whole job done without having to move the mixer. Or sorry, the, the pump. At least by it filling it up last time just a few seconds ago and when we start this side we got a full mixer all right pouring on Just avoid the crane. I think I'll just uh, go back and forth on this one here. Try not to go too fast. So the concrete has time to actually get in there. All right, 34%, so probably got to refill it one more time after this, and maybe one other time after that at the very end. Looks like I got a little sloppy on this end. Not halfway home on this one. Probably after we finish this job, depending on what's next, it'll be time for another coffee break. Yep, I was wondering if we're going to run out, and we are run out. But looks like I should be able to get to the end without having a refill for this. Doesn't quite look like a VIP lounge area yet, but 
maybe by the end of this episode we'll have something going. At least we'll have the foundation for one. Just slop around the last three percent. Let's just move the pump out of the way. Oh, we're up to 2.7 million now. Now let's go ahead and turn off the mixer, shall we? There we go. Uh, yeah, almost 8 o'clock, so no sense of getting to the crane and move things around. So let's go ahead and coffee break, go to morning. It does say pour columns, but uh, we've been pouring concrete for a while, so let's go ahead and we'll unpack some material first, and then we'll get into the crane and move five pieces. Let's get into the crane. All right, so what are we moving? Uh, concrete beams. Oh, one concrete beam, two pallet of concrete elements, and two scaffoldings. I think the crane should be right there. Good. Alright, we'll grab the scaffoldings. Not sure where they need to go. Alright, let's move the camera around here. Okay, there's one. Oh, the other one's right like right behind me. Hopefully Sammy, I think I think his name is Sammy that we're doing the uh, uh, that's leading this brigade on the stadium. He mentioned about that uh, you know misplacing the scaffolding in some areas. So maybe on this job here won't be as bad as it was on the seatings for the other one. Maybe he learned his lesson. But, I mean we made it work. We did all right. Uh, we'll grab the concrete beams because we're right on top of one here. And these are going... Well, it looks like everything else is going over here. One more after this. Then, uh, yeah, we'll might as well put up the concrete beams while we're sitting inside the crane. Guess it doesn't matter which one we grab. These aren't these aren't stacked like they were for the seating for us common folk. 
Okay. Yeah, we'll have to unpack that in just a moment. But we're in the crane. Let's go ahead and move. I think uh, these, I see the ghost figures uh, shadows for these. And as a, we all know, these can be very finicky. Well, first one's in. Alright, these uh, seem to be snapping in a little bit easier. Now watch this one be just a total pain in my butt. If I can control it a little bit better. Well, that one snapped in nice and easy. one do you want to go in okay that one now as long as it goes in that's all I care about like a glove uh, there we go the crane over here because I got a funny feeling after I unpack this might be doing the same thing but I might move on to pouring the columns because I'm over here by the pump now Yep, looks like the same procedure, but, no, no, let's put the mixer on pouring first. Uh, I'm going to empty it, and then fill it. Wait, pouring, yep, that was what I came here to do to begin with. Uh, this says pour columns, how many are there? It's like four of them. And no way I'm going to get the other two from over here, so I'll have to move. Yep, kind of stuck in the mixer that time, but we are free. I uh, don't think there's really any good place to park when I'm over here. I'm just going to park here, I guess. We all know, uh, no matter where I go, I'm just going to be in the way at some point, so... We're on the camera. We just want to be in the boom. Uh, 
I probably, for jobs like this, should be using the other all-in-one mixer and pump. I can't remember if I even bought one on uh, for this company over here in Europe yet. Did I go through all the rebar? Yeah, all the rebar is gone. Okay, this will take just a few seconds. That one's full. I was ready to say, wait, did I run out of Oh, now I gotta pour some more walls. Where was all that concrete formed and stuff? Appeared out of nowhere, apparently. All right. These walls are a little bit taller, so they're going to take a lot more. Don't think I'm going to get that close to the truck. But it's going to fill up quite a good bit of the corner, actually. Someone ran out of concrete. Starting to look around, it looks like a lot of walls, but I am 31% done already. Seeing as much walls as I'm, as I'm seeing, I'm surprised we're getting that much done. Oh, so wait, is it only on this side? Oh, it's only on this side. Okay. Well, I wonder if I can get it all done without having to move. It's going to be a big question mark. Fully extended. Yes, we are. And am I out of concrete? Yes, we are. Kind of wish that now that we're got all of our skill points used and we got we're supposed to be more more in shape. I wish my character wasn't always breathing so heavy. It's one of the things that kind of get me a little bit about the game every time he gets out. Don't like hearing him breathing as heavy as he is. Wait, did I not feel? Oh, okay. Got a little confused of what what rows I've done so far. I was like, wait a minute, didn't I fill this up already? No, you did not. Alright. 
30% more is what we need to get. Fingers crossed we can do that. I mean, I'm not talking about before running out of concrete. I knew that was going to happen. But if I can do it without moving, that'd be great. Fifteen percent more. I'm going to have to move. No! Unless I uh, get lucky here. Oh, wait a minute. This here should do it. Ta-da! Uh, unpack construction material. Let me move the boom over here. Did I run out of concrete just as I finished? Because that should still be slopping around. I did run out of concrete. Okay. Interesting. Anywho, let's run over and unpack this uh, scaffolding. Not close enough? Where am I? No, we're we're wobbling back and forth. We got it. Alright, into the crane we go. So we get the other concrete beams now on this side. bit nervous because I think I'm at the max range of the crane. I mean, I'll just have to go get the mobile crane. <laughs> we are maxed out on the crane. Well, ain't that a kick in the head. Ha 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 ha. All right. Uh, nope, not that. Not that. Yes, that. Uh, actually, I probably should repair this. Where is my... Oh, it's not even uh, folded up yet. Probably been well. I had to get in this vehicle anyways to change the mode. I was saying I probably could just move the crane. Oh, there we go. Refuel. Repair. There's a stump there. Now, I know what you're all thinking. All right, he's going to use a mobile crane to get that piece in place. Nope. I'm going to try something here just for fun. Because that's the point of playing games. Not what you would do on a construction site. Wish I could see more of the front of this. Can I? Okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. 
I was kind of hoping it would push it forward, but I don't think it's going to. Maybe if I line it up with the tires or something. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't be doing that. I think I may actually be able to get it now with the, the stationary crane. <laughs> That's all we needed to do. Give a little bit of a nudge. Alright, grab some of the seating over here. The top piece, I think it's the top piece. I top piece of this stage, anyways. Oh, goody. Uh, pour more. Oh, no, they took care of it for me. Uh, unpack material, more scaffolding, I assume. All right, uh, deliver ceiling components. Well, we can uh, we can definitely manage that, I assume. Uh, looks like they're all going right next to the crane. That's definitely going to clear out the building materials that we purchased, like always, first step or second step. I can see a time lapse in my future of using these ceiling components, putting those in. Seems the majority... Uh, kind of like the time lapse of putting the roof on the seats on the other side. And looks like after I get these delivered over to here might be a good time to possibly wrap up the episode and maybe end the day at the same time. And when that way when we start next episode we can start first thing in the morning. And we got about 30% of the entire job done today. If you go by their stats, I think we were at 6% maybe when we started, or was it 8% somewhere around there. Is that going to be all of those components? Yep, there's only two more left.
unless there's a simple job right after this, and I'm not expecting it to be, well, unpack construction material. Yeah, we can manage that, but it's gonna show me how many pieces I gotta put in place. And if it's up near 20, or, or, or remove the material <laughs> from the area is also another thing. Uh, might be actually done with these, not too sure. So let's just get them completely out of the way, park them across the road. Reset, driving mode. Might as well park it right next to the mixer because they belong together. 24 pieces. Well, I guess what I might do uh, instead of actually doing a time lapse is I could do most of them before I start next episode and uh, we'll do like the last six or so together. But just to get a rough idea of what we're doing here, we're getting the crane. So, yeah, we're putting them all up there. Oh, I'm going to have to pour concrete again. I can see that happening. Uh, maybe not here, but maybe... Can I walk on this? Nope, you're going to push me off. I mean, maybe they won't have me pour concrete. Nope, maybe not. So I thought it was seen like rebar, but I think it's just the rebar... Uh, on those that I'm seeing, like that, so... Yeah, I think uh, I'll get most of them done, and uh, when we start next episode, it'll be early morning, I would assume, and we'll do like the last six and get those done. But uh, we got the foundation in, and we got like the, I don't know, some of the seating in, and now we're going to be working our way up to VIP lounges here pretty darn soon. But it's starting to look like, starting to look like something. It's going to look a little bit like that, but a lot better, I would assume. But anywho, if you made it this far in the video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like. And also, if you haven't done so already, you may think about subscribing as well. But that is where we're going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Construction Simulator. But until then, have a good one.